the standardization phase. 6G is being decided as to what 6G is going to look like. Uh, 6G will be a reality by 2030 plus. Uh, this is the time for any country or environment or industry to play a role in defining what we want to do with 6G. So I think this is exactly the right time. Uh, we, with our Bell Labs, have been playing a leadership role in the development, in the, what 6G will look like, which is what you have seen uh, in a glimpse here, how the standards of 6G will develop, and then the real products will be uh, manufactured. So this is the time where India can play a bigger role in that leadership of creating IP, creating standards for 6G, so that tomorrow Indian requirements are also there for 6G. Just a sense in terms of are we seeing that traction on the ground in terms of migration uh, to this new technology? We have about 125 million consumers. How far is that likely to travel ahead? Uh, so I, I cannot predict how fast it's going to uh, uh, travel. We've had the fastest rollout, as you said, of 5G uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, we are probably among the top three markets in the world in terms of overall 5G rollout with 300,000 plus sites uh, which have been installed. Uh, 100 million plus subscribers already on board. Diwali is coming. You know, the handset ecosystem suddenly starts improving because people buy new stuff. I think that is one of the uh, big enablers of 5G monetization or enablement in the market. Uh, what the number will look like, I can't say. But at the same time, what we are also seeing is besides the number, there is growth in data consumption on 5G. So a lot of 4G data is shifting to 5G, which is a very positive trend. Is there one concern that, look, Geo Airtel have finished it and therefore demand is likely to taper or is there excitement that it's likely to continue? So firstly, I don't think Geo Airtel have finished it. Uh, yes, they have moved faster and they have done extremely well. I think uh, with more monetization happening of 5G, there is still potential to grow 5G in the country. Um, I cannot give any projections or I would not like to do that. Uh, Vodafone, like they are saying, they are also wanting to do this as their situation improves and we are looking forward to that and all this is going to only help us to work closely with the Indian environment and uh, make sure our business also grows there. My one final question to you, the one thing that 5G represents is uh, exponential growth in data consumption is what we're expecting. Uh, falling from that, uh, and the requirement of setting up these large networks, uh, there is a need for clarity felt by stakeholders on the issue of whether or not there should be some fair user charge or compensatory mechanism for telcos. Just your view on that. Uh, how critical is it that we have a more perspective from the government, from the policy makers on this question? So I'm not the right stakeholder to answer that. Actually, you should be asking the CSPs about that. But I do believe that uh, uh, there have been instances where uh, government can play a bigger role in facilitating uh, and helping the industry in order to the path of uh, better utilization and monetization of 5G. For more videos like this, subscribe to this channel now.